All right, Coach Stutzman. I always call you Nutsman, but you are a good family man. I got to say that about you. What's going on at home right now? You're going back home to uh, go go out with the daughters and the wife and the uh, mother-in-law. What's going on? Well, tonight it's um, it's kind of a costume, um, you know, Halloween costume party show. So we're all going back home, getting dressed up in our Halloween costumes, and uh, you're getting dressed up. I'm trying to avoid it. Oh. Uh, I may be getting dressed up and just going to hang out with the family tonight and have a good family night, uh, uh, just because I think I, I think it's important. All right. Well, you almost got the coach's curse, but you shook it. You know what the co wrestling coach's uh, curse is? I, I two daughters. You, I got two daughters. I got a third one on the way, and uh, we're luckily not not luckily, but we're having a boy, so we're excited about that. Uh, Paxton John. So we're excited. Paxton John. Uh, you know, is that something like I know a lot of a lot of these coaches, uh, wrestling coaches, have all daughters. And Dan Gable is obviously the, <laughs> the classic example. But does it mean more to you, or you love them all the same? I love them all the same. Actually, I I, I probably prefer the girls. Uh, I think uh, my uh, my girls love me. Dads dads can do no wrong in their daughters' eyes. So uh, I would have preferred. I mean, I don't prefer anything, but uh, my daughters are healthy. That's what I can, all I can ask for. And so far, my wife's healthy, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, next week to hopefully have our um, our healthy baby boy. Do you think the Hasmans are more uh, excited than you are? Yeah. Uh, your in-laws? My in-laws and my father-in-law, and uh, he's uh, he thinks he's gonna be a football player. Uh, so we're gonna he may, but he's gonna be five foot four probably. <laughs> your wife's about five three, you said right? Yes. Yeah. And then we, you know, we got to see your daughter do some trampolining and some Justin Bieber dancing from the other daughter. So it's always good to see. But uh, you know, the move from Bloomsburg to here was that a good move, or you know, like did, did your one daughter did they get attached to their schools? They have friends there. Does that move hard? You know what? Uh, I thought it would be, but uh, you know, Alexa took it. She, uh, my oldest one. You know, her being in school. Um, she took it and she loves it. She loves Western New York. And my, my youngest one kind of didn't phase her just because she wasn't in school yet. But uh, Alexa had, you know, a couple couple days she had to adjust at her new school with her new friends. But uh, all in all, they love it. Uh, my wife loves the area. So we're excited about being, you know, being Western New York. It's 